Hi Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. This week I'm really excited because I'm teaching you an absolute classic of blues and jazz. It's not quite summer yet, but I just couldn't resist teaching you summertime. Okay, so get your C harmonica. We're not going to be playing in the key of C. We're actually going to be playing in this key of D minor. We'll be playing in third position. Now if that's way over your head, you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, you're going to play it. So, you know, you've got no problems. The only thing that's tricky about this, I suppose, is there is a bend in it. So if you haven't bent notes before, this might be a little bit above where you're at. If you're just getting into bends, it's a great one to try because there's only one note. It's repeated a few times, but it's only one bend. It's a bend on hole three, the second bend there. So we'll get started. There's only four lines to go through really but it's a nice slow tune and there's a lot of expression and emotion that you can put into it so there's a lot of thought you can put into it okay so the first line sounds something like this That last note there was the bend, okay? You might have guessed that. So we've got six draw, five draw, six draw, and then six blow, five draw, six blow, six draw, five draw, four draw, and that second bend on three. So you see in the tab, the two forward slashes, that means two half steps or, or a full step, a full tone down on hole three. So instead of three draw, we've got bends down to there, okay? So if we slow that down, six draw, five draw, six draw is summertime. And then we have I'm covering the harmonica to kind of mute that bend a little bit because it can be a bit harsh. It's hard to get that nice and smooth. So and the living is easy. Six blow, five draw, six blow, six draw, five draw, four draw, and then that bend on three, okay? Ba, 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 ba. And then those draw notes, you can kind of slide down. You don't have to take a separate breath for each, except when you get to the bent note, you probably will need a separate breath. To, to get there and get down to it, get your mouth in the right shape as well. So let's try that first line, okay? One, two, three. Okay, lovely. And then we've got Da 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 da. So six draw, five draw, six blow, six blow. That's fish are jumping. And then. And the cotton is high. Five draw, four draw, five draw. Four draw, five draw, five blow. So we're going back and forth between the four and the five there, and most of it's draw notes, but it's all about the rhythm. And the cotton is five, four, five, four, five, blow. That's what's going to make or break the melody if the timing's right there, okay? So let's try that second line in full. One. Two, three. And high, or that five below at the end there, is held. Um, and the cotton is high. Okay. Uh, third line. Similar to the first line, and really the only difference is that maybe if, if you were trying to imitate the words, the, the vocal version of it, there's a few more extra syllables at the start. So you've got, your daddy's rich. Okay. Your daddy's rich. Instead of, 
summertime. It's just, well, I said a few extra. There's just one extra syllable. So six draw, six draw, five draw, six draw. So we basically just get an extra six draw on the start. And then it's the same as the first line. Um, six blow, five draw, six blow. Six draw, five draw, four draw, three draw semitone, uh, or hold tone bend. Okay, so... Okay, I wasn't playing it in time there, just playing the notes. So let's have a go at line three. One, two, three. Lovely, okay. So just before we try the last line, let's try those three lines together. And then we're gonna to have to talk about this last line because there's, there's that bend in a couple of tricky places, okay? So we're gonna go from the top and do the first three lines. One, two, three. Uh, your daddy there, which I played. I was a bit late coming in there, so I went, your daddy's rich. Kind of squashed it in. Get away with it a little bit, although I've told you I did it, because it's such a moving, bluesy, soulful song. You can kind of play with the timing a little bit with this. I mean, if you listen to Ella Fitzgerald sing it or whoever, or Louis Armstrong play it on the trumpet, they wouldn't play it dead on the beat they'd be moving it all around so this last line we've got to start with that difficult bend on hole three so really good practice this three draw second bend then four blow three draw second bend four blow four draw five draw six draw six blow five draw four draw Okay. Okay. So, so hush, little baby. That is three draw semitone, uh, three draw whole step bend, four blow, three draw whole step bend. Four blow, four draw, five draw. Okay, so that's up to five draw in the line. And then we've got da 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 da. Now I tabbed it out like this, and I'm taking this to be the melody, but we've kind of got two notes for don't. Don't. So it's kind of one syllable, but we're making it into two. Don't. Six draw, six blow. And then five draw, four draw. Don't you cry. So let's try that last line. One, two, three. Again, you can kind of swing and play with the timing a little bit for this last one. It would be easier to play this further up the harmonica in the sense that you wouldn't have to get this bend. But there's a certain quality to the bend which is quite nice to have. And also, if you play it further up the harmonica, especially on a C harmonica, it's really quite squeaky. So there, it, there is an advantage in terms of just the sound of the whole thing. Let's try playing the whole thing from the top. So we're going to play a whole verse and uh, see how we get on. One, two, three.
Okay. So again, I've kind of played with the timing a little bit with that last one. You could extend that last line. I played the exact same notes, but I didn't rush through it so much. And hush, little baby. Like that, instead of, I kind of went, and hush, little baby, don't you cry. I was kind of playing it a bit swing. Um, okay, so it's a lovely melody to play. It gives you a chance to play in a minor key. You're going to be playing some kind of classic blues jazz when you play this. So I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Do give me your comments, your questions. If you've enjoyed the video, please click like, please share it. Please subscribe to my channel as well because I've got new lessons coming every week. If you've got a request for a lesson, a song or a topic you'd like to know about, please put it in the comments uh, beneath the video or drop me an email, contact at learntheharmonica.com. You can also find me on Twitter at Learn the Harp and on Facebook if you look for Learn the Harmonica or look for me as well. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.